Saudi National Bank taking an up to 9.9% stake in Credit Suisse, and the PIF is establishing six MENA investment firms. You're watching The Daily Brief with Forbes. I'm Ramia Faraj. Saudi National Bank is taking an up to 9.9% stake in Credit Suisse for $1.5 billion. Credit Suisse says it seeks to raise $4 billion in capital. The announcement comes as Credit Suisse announces a loss of $4.06 billion in Q3, badly missing the average estimate of $418 million. The embattled Swiss bank unveiled a $3.75 billion impairment on deferred tax assets related to the strategy review. It saw net asset outflow of $13 billion in the quarter. It says it will cut 9,000 jobs by 2025. The PIF is establishing six regional investment companies targeting investments worth up to $24 billion. The first, already announced for Egypt, will be accompanied by firms in Bahrain, Iraq, Jordan, Oman and Sudan. The six companies will invest in several key sectors. It's in line with the PIF's strategy of seeking new investment opportunities in the MENA region, while enabling the Saudi private sector and that of the six countries. Egypt has raised the authorized capital of its sovereign wealth fund to $20.3 billion from $10.1 billion. Officials say the sovereign fund of Egypt is expected to have its capital rise to up to $50.7 billion in five years. The fund was founded in 2019 to attract private investors to develop promising state assets. Abu Dhabi Sovereign Wealth Fund, ADQ, and the TSFE set up a $20 billion joint investment platform to invest in a range of sectors. The world's biggest smartphone maker saw its Q3 operating profits drop 31.39% to $7 billion year-on-year year after the global economic downturn hit demand for consumer electronics. Earnings in Samsung Electronics' crucial memory chips division dropped and demand for consumer products remained weak. The results are its first year-on-year -year profit drop in nearly three years. But sales rose 3.79% from the same period last year to $53.4 billion. Meta stocks plummeted 20% in after-hours trade as Q3 revenues declined by 4%. Co-founder and CEO Mark Zuckerberg admitted that the company faces near-term challenges on sales but expects a return to stronger revenue growth. Despite the drop, Meta's Q3 revenues hit $27.7 billion, exceeding Refinitiv expectations of $27.38 billion. Earnings per share of $1.64 fell short of the $1.89 estimated by analysts. Meta has been pouring billions of dollars into futuristic technologies that have yet to yield results. Elon Musk has posted a video showing him strolling into Twitter headquarters ahead of a Friday deadline to close his $44 billion deal to buy the company. Musk also changed his Twitter profile to refer to himself as Chief Twit, and his location is now Twitter headquarters, which is based in San Francisco. The video shows him carrying a sink through a lobby area. And Film Al Ola, an agency established to promote and support film and TV production in the county of Al Ola, will sponsor this year's edition of the Red Sea International Film Festival. Film Al Ola will present the Audience Award and the Best Saudi Film Award, each with a prize value of $50,000. The award celebrates creative Saudi talents and innovative Saudi works that are faithful to their identity, heritage and cultural depth, boasting originality in their presence. Presentation. I'm Rami Afaraj. This is The Daily Brief. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.